Our next question is articulatia coxae or hip joint. Articulatia coxae is joint between acetabular fossa of the uh, between acetabular fossa of the uh, hip bone and the caput femoris. And first question which we should ask ourselves is what is the shape, geometrical shape of this bone? This bone, uh, this uh, geometrical shape of this joint. Geometrical shape is spherical, so it's balanced or and socket joint. Articulatia spheroido. Articulatia spheroido. So how much axis can we use in this joints? Three axes. So first axis is like this. What is the axis? Frontal axis. So three axial. Three axial joint. Around this axis, we can move uh, this way and this way. It's flexio and extensio. So, frontal axis. Flexio, extensio. How can we distinguish flexio from extensio? Flexio to the direction of abdomen, extensio to the direction of back. Next axis is uh, vertical axis. Do you agree? This is vertical axis. And around this axis we can rotate the uh, femur. So, vertical. So, this rotation consists of two different movements. Supinazzo and pronazzo. Supinazzo and pronazzo. When we supinate the first finger of our foot will be moved laterally and when we pronate first finger moves medially so pronazzo supinazzo pronazzo supinazzo and uh, the last third uh, axis is sagittal axis, this way, sagittal axis. When we use sagittal axis, we can find two movements, abductio and adductio, abductio and adductio. Sagittal. Abductio and adductio. Abductio is a movement in opposite side from the midline and adductio is in direction of mid, mid uh, 
line of sagittal plane. So three different axes and uh, six movements. And also we can use this type of movement. It isn't independent movement. It's called circumductio. But circumductio, circumductio, circumductio. Circumductio isn't independent movement. It is a movement when one axis change to another each moment. So it isn't around frontal, vertical, or sagittal, but changement of axis each movement, each moment. The next question, when we already know the geometrical shape of the joint, the next question we use what is the type of the joint? How much articulating surfaces we use only to op only caput femoris and fossa acetabuli? So this is articulatia simplex. Articulatia simplex. Simplex. You remember articulatia simplex means that only two articulating surfaces forms this joint. And we can write down the surfaces. One of them is caput femoris, its head of the joint, articulating head the caput femoris and second is fossa acetabuli here it is it is cavity of the joint Fossa acetabuli. Acetabuli. Again, only two articulating surfaces means that this joint is simplex, articulatio simplex. And next question we should ask ourselves what uh, ligaments uh, strengthen, reinforce this joint. So let's write down and find them, ligaments. I'd like to demonstrate to you this artificial specimen of hip joint. And you can find here several very strong bands which reinforce this joint. First of all is here the band which connects the iliac bone with the femur. So ligamentum iliofemorale. Here it is. Ligamentum iliofemorale. Here it is. Ligamentum iliofemorale. I shall write down it. Ligamentum iliofemorale. It's interesting that this ligament 
is most strength in our organism. It can uh, hold about 300 kilos when we try to pull in different directions. Second is ligamentum pubo femorale. You can recognize this bone, it's os pubis, so ligamentum pubo femorale. Ligamentum pubo femorale. And then, so pubo femorale. You remember that hip bone consists of three different bones os ilium, os pubis, so ligamentum ilium femorale, os pubo femorale, and os ischi. I should turn the specimen, and when I turn it, we can find this bundle ligamentum ischio femorale, ligamentum ischio. Femorale. And the last fourth ligament called as zona orbicularis, orbicularis. It means the bundles which uh, surrounds the caput and column femoris from all sides. This is ligamentum, which is called zona orbicularis. It surrounds the uh, articulating uh, capsule from all sides and reinforces it. So, now we can use this uh, describe text as a conspect. It's good for remembering the way of preparing each each joint and hip joint as well.